Well, folks, in critically important news, Dwayne The Rock Johnson announced he's going to keep his politics to himself. Mm-hmm. Dwayne somehow managed to avoid being struck down by a giant bolt of irony lightning as he made his proclamation during an appearance on Fox News, which of course is just about the most political environment he could have chosen. Mm. It's almost like Dwayne The Rock Johnson didn't want to admit that his audience smacked him pretty bad for supporting Biden in the last election, and his handlers pressured him to fix the problem and keep his stardom intact. So the rock became a pebble and wussy wussed out of owning the painfully clear message he was sending by sitting in MAGA world, rubbing elbows with the biggest liars in the business, pretending to dislike division and woke culture, while saying nothing about the big lie J6 or Orangina Schlumper McPhee's last fucking true social post. Mm. So, but jolly good giant Johnson would like us to believe that he's totally cool with Americans living under authoritarianism, as long as they just get along. Well, clearly women and marginalized communities and thinking people are not the rock's demographic. No, he's playing to the low-hanging fruit that slogs through life in a hateful daze, only coming to life when words like woke come out of the TV. Well, I think it's safe to say what once was a rock seems to have been beaten into a slab, and all he's got left is to appeal to the rubble. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, Dwayne, have a day, dude. Have a day. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The laugh is not having a great time right now. After The Rock decided to go on Fox News and to declare that he is not going to endorse Joe Biden this year. Now, he did say he was going to endorse Trump, but not falling in line and endorsing Biden to the liberals, the left. That's basically the same as endorsing Trump, right? Because if there is one less vote for Biden, that essentially is a vote for Trump, right? That is how this election is going to shape out. It's going to depend on how many people on the left actually come out and vote for Biden, okay? Nobody really likes Biden. I never see a Biden-Harris sign anywhere, right? In fact, I, I, have, I cannot tell you the last time I've seen anybody in public wearing Biden paraphernalia, okay? I can't tell you the last time I've seen a Biden-Harris yard sign. You just don't see it anywhere, right? I mean, it's hard to believe that the guy is president of the United States when you never see anybody supporting him in public because if you support biden okay and you're showing that you support biden in public people are going to look at you weird right you are to blame for the current state of this country which is not a great place okay so i can understand why people don't uh support biden publicly i'm pretty sure they're you know closet biden supporters but again the country is in such bad shape that people are ashamed to come out and to openly support Biden. And I think that's what's happening with The Rock, okay? I think that's what's happening with Cardi B. I think that's what's happening with Michael Rappaport. I think there are a lot of people that were, you know, Biden stands back in 2020 when everything was Orange Man's fault that now they realize that, hey, eh, Biden's in office. Things are a lot worse. Uh, I'm just going to sit this out, right? I'm not going to come out here and stand for Biden like I did in the past because, Basically, I told people to choose the wrong person, right? So I'm just going to stay out of politics, okay? And again, the left is upset, and they're not taking it well that one of their favorite Hollyweird celebrities uh, is not endorsing their Lord and Savior, Joe Biden. So you mean to tell me The Rock, a.k.a. Dwayne Johnson, took his Rudy Pooh candy ass on live TV and told the millions and millions of fans, that he regretted supporting Joe Biden for the 2020 election because Joe Biden is causing division in this country. Joe Biden. Not these MAGA assholes. Not con man Trump. But Joe Biden is causing division in this country. Okay, Rock, we got you. And this brother gonna double down on his stupidity and say in a tweet, and I'm paraphrasing here. Hey, you know, uh, in the future, my my ballot and my vote is between me and the ballot box. You know what that says? It, it, it has the same energy as when you ask, like when they ask these uh, celebrities, hey, are you homosexual? And their answer is, well, I believe that what happens in the privacy of my home and in my bedroom is between me and the person I'm sharing my space with. All you're doing is confirming what we already know with your non-answer. So the rock stupid ass could have just kept on voting Republican and kept it to himself. But you got to come out and say some dumb ass shit and let us all know who you stand with. 
Dwayne The Rock Johnson doesn't want to take a stand because that would be divisive. Taking a stand against Donald Trump is a divide between what is right and what is wrong. And that is the definition of American history. Our entire history is about taking a stand and dividing between right and wrong, between free and not free. When Paul Revere came riding along and said the British are coming, it is time to overthrow our oppressor, the British monarch, and establish a place of freedom. You had to take a stand whether you would fight for freedom or not. When Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation amidst the Civil War, you you had to take a stand. There was a divide between should you support people being enslaved in chains and bondage or not. When Rosa Parks sat on a bus and propelled forward the civil rights movement because yes, every goddamn human and American should have the same rights from drinking fountain to White House. Yes, you had to take a stand because there was a divide between right and wrong. Yeah, so you see and they hear that, okay? The left is not taking it too well and the meltdown is not just happening on TikTok. But also on X as well, too. <laughs> In fact, I would say that the meltdown is even more hilarious on X because there's speculation that The Rock is doing this because of his role with the WWE and how he needs uh, white racist Trump uh, fans to watch the WWE. That's why he's not endorsing Biden, right? So they're saying that, well, he's not endorsing Biden because of money, uh, which is what this person speculated, this conspiracy theorist right here. Uh, this person says, I know it's just one me one family that will no longer support The Rock for his take on not endorsing the right side of history. Money is his factor with his majority of white racist wrestling Trump fans. And it truly is a shame. I stand by my choice uh, to not support him. Not one dollar. Yeah. So listen, uh, again, there's a lot more of these meltdowns on X. OK, I mean, people are just not taking it well, right? They're not taking it well that The Rock has decided that he's not going to endorse the destruction of this country and further chaos. Uh, that we have experienced with the Biden administration. Well, uh, we got to check in on the cackling hands on the view because they're not taking it well either. Okay, this is the mainstream liberal media response to uh, The Rock, um, you know, basically saying he's not going to endorse Joe Biden. Now, I'm not sure if he necessarily say he regrets it, but the way it's been framed <laughs> as if he regrets it. I mean, he probably does regret it, but uh, let's let's listen to this. Way going on on Fox and Friends, superstar Dwayne The Rock Johnson was asked about... <laughs> Yeah, he was asked about, <laughs> are his relatives here? What? <laughs> he was asked about putting his weight behind Joe Biden in the last election, so what? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. I'm not going to do that because what I realized, what that caused back then was something that tears me up in my guts back then and now, which is division. So a couple of questions. First of all, should... Amazing how they was cheering before they saw what he said, right? And now all of a sudden when they see what he, uh, he said, they now start booing, right? This is kind of how the NPCs work, right? Maybe they're not as relatives. <laughs> yeah. So the question, uh, first of all, should I pay any attention to gives, who gives an interview on Fox where they lie every day? Yeah. Number one. Number two, should celebrities publicly endorse public figures? Yeah. Or they should keep their if they want to. to I mean, celebrities are U.S. citizens, are American citizens. With a, you don't lose your, your rights as a citizen yeah. because you are a celebrity. But, you know, I, I remember, um, I'm so old, like I was telling <laughs> Molly today, I said, you know, I remember being at a Republican convention where The Rock spoke, and I remember him being at the DNC. Okay. It was in the year 2000 in Philadelphia. And when he spoke, he wasn't there. It was George W. Bush that was getting... Um, the nomination. He wasn't there endorsing. He was there raising awareness for voting yeah. and getting young people and his followers <laughs> like, to be like, involved. Like uh, like Taylor Swift is. Yeah. Name. So yeah. look, I think for him, yeah. the 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 cause of division aspect is a real one. He also went to the DNC that year, and um, <clears throat> I think everybody's entitled to do whatever and the I hell think, they want. You know, he's he's been quite political. I agree yeah. with you, um, and and he's been very engaged and very involved. I do think we're living in a time where um, we have someone running for president that is an existential threat to democracy. You know, it's just so funny how they come on this show and they say the same thing every day, right? Is there not a day where they don't call Trump an existential threat to democracy? 
right? I mean, it's almost like they're giving the same talking points and they just come out here and they repeat them every single day. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, there's not much more I can really say about her saying that because they say that every single day. I mean, clearly and obviously, uh, is delusion. Right? We, right. That, is, that is where we are at. Uh, someone who has been, has 88, you know, criminal charges, uh, four indictments, someone that has vowed to be a dictator on the very first day he takes office. Now is the time, if you have a platform, you must be active. You must speak out. That's how I feel. And I, I generally don't... I generally don't think that celebrities should be forced to be politically active. Not forced. But na right now, they have if you have a platform, well, you have an well, obligation. Well, you know, McIntyre yeah. was the one, I think, that said once, I don't want to speak about my politics because what I do is music, and it's unifying. And when I go to a concert, she goes, I want everyone there to feel welcome and together. I don't want to divide anyone. Mm. So She could I, do it at the end of the show. But, but the point... <laughs> There are yeah. very activist people that are entertainers. Kerry Washington is a self-proclaimed, I'm an activist. Yeah. You have uh, Jane Fonda, activist. When you're not an activist and you happen to have a big platform, I think encouraging people to vote is the most important part. Because I, I think it it's so important. vapid to imagine that just because someone says, I'm going to vote for this, that the sheep will fall in line and follow. Like, that, that minimizes voters everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think it matters who they're voting for. It's, per it's public participation that's yes. the important part. I, I was a little bit surprised that The Rock said this because I consider him kind of an activist in the sense that he at one point talked about potentially running for office. There was yes. a poll that said as many as 46% of Americans would want him to run for office. So I thought it was notable in an election with the stakes this high that mm -hmm. this is the time he chose to sit it out. Um, but that said, I completely agree with Sarah's point, which is, I don't know that The Rock has a core constituency. It's not like Republicans are waiting to hear what he says or Democrats are and they're going to decide uh, based on that. The most important thing he could do is encourage young people to get out and vote and let them make out up for themselves. And is he doing that? Well, I mean, there here's the thing. Um, I don't think that The Rock is necessarily going to sway anybody's vote either, right? But I think that in 2020, the effect of all these celebrities coming out and endorsing Biden was this effort to all stand up against Trump, right? To try to blame Trump for what a country was at at the time of the pandemic, okay? Which had nothing to really do with Trump, okay? I mean, Democrats pretend like they would have handled the pandemic better than Trump, but they would not have. They actually, in fact would have handled it worse, right? They would have been harder when it comes to the lockdowns. They would have spent a lot more money. And we know that the biggest issue with the pandemic was the lockdowns and the money spent. Democrats would have doubled and tripled down on those things, okay, the worst aspects of the pandemic. So we know they would not have handled it better. But at the time, I think that the effect of all these celebrities coming out uh, against Trump, uh, I think that it actually really did move the needle because, again, it... it basically added to this idea that, well, Trump is the problem, right? Trump is what's wrong with America right now. And if it wasn't for the pandemic, I don't think it would have worked because before the pandemic, uh, America was in an amazing place, okay? I mean, the country was in a great place. But when the pandemic came, it gave the Democrats that catalyst to say that, well, this is Trump's fault. All of this is Trump's fault, right? And I think a lot of people fail for that, okay? And I think in The Rock's case, what he was talking about is that, well, I told people to go out and to vote for Joe Biden. I endorsed Joe Biden because I believed that Trump was the cause of division in this country. However, when Trump left office, we could see that, hey, that wasn't the case, right? That that was all BS, okay? That the division got even worse because Trump is not divisive. <laughs> the only reason that Trump is divisive is because the media makes him divisive. Trump doesn't hate Democrat voters, right? He might not like Democrats, but he doesn't like Democrat voters. Re uh, Democrats actually do not like Republican voters. I mean, Democrats are openly antagonistic towards Republican voters, specifically rural white America, okay? There's a difference. There's a huge difference. That's why the divisiveness didn't end because Democrats overtly do not like voters right that, that's not something that trump does trump does not openly shit on uh liberals in in a, in a city right he doesn't do that he never does that okay um so the problem is is that the rock realized that hey you know trump was not the cause of all our problems trump actually <laughs> was not the problem okay everybody thought that the country would be in a much better place when trump got out of office and that wasn't the case the reality of what happened is the exact opposite of what these celebrities told us that would happen. What the Democrats told us what would happen. What the liberal media told us what would happen. The economy got worse. 
uh, people's lives did not get better. The border got wide open. Okay, crime got out of control. We started seeing a bunch of wars overseas. Okay, <laughs> I mean, there was a whole lot of things that started happening when Biden was elected, after Biden got elected, that were not happening under Trump. And I think people are realizing that people are seeing that and saying, hey, you know what? I made a mistake. And these celebrities are now coming out and being like, you know what? I can't come out here in good conscience and tell people to vote for Biden. When in 2020, I told people to vote for Biden because of this idea that orange man bad and I was wrong, right? I led people to vote for somebody that did not make the country better. He actually made the country worse. And he did not stop the so-called divisiveness. The divisiveness got worse as well, too. So I think that's where The Rock is coming from. And, um, you know, I mean, I'm neither here nor there. I don't care about celebrity endorsements. I mean, for me personally, celebrities don't really move the needle for me. But I can see how the celebrities could move the needle for some people you know, that really don't pay that much attention to politics, right? People that kind of just want to go along and get along, right? So if you have a bunch of celebrities in mass endorsing somebody and encouraging people to go and vote against Trump, which is what they were doing in 2020, I think that it does affect um, voter participation, right? I don't necessarily think it affects who people vote for, uh, but I do think it affects whether or not they go out and, and they vote, right? And, and, and if they choose to participate, I definitely think it has an effect on that, right? Because I think that um, the main reason that Biden was successful in 2020 was the fact that the anti-Trump vote came out in droves. And I don't think that the anti-Trump vote is going to come out the same way they did in 2020 because basically everybody sees that the country is in a worse place under Biden than it was under Trump. So I don't think that the anti-Trump effect is going to be nearly as much as it was in 2020. Some endorsements that I that I think have mattered tremendously. I remember when Oprah Winfrey endorsed Barack Obama when he was oh, running. That's true. Uh, and that one was incredibly significant. Made a difference. She not only endorsed, she went out and campaigned. She might do and it she actively. wanted to do that and, and she felt that to her oh, bones. Right. And so, that is great. I, listen, if they don't want to get involved respect to them. Yeah. If they want to get involved and use their platform, leave them alone too. Well, there's they, people that attack folks that do that. So There's a you know. huge risk for some of them. Yes, yeah. if they, there is. You know, like but now's uh, the time well, to Robert take it. De Niro, who's a, the most brilliant actor we've got yeah. presently besides maybe Pacino and a few others mm -hmm. like that. But he is out against Trump. Yes, calls he him is. names, he thinks he's a horrible. And people online write again that he's not a good actor. Oh, suddenly. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm all in Yeah. I mean, so he, he takes a risk he by does. doing yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't think people are waiting well, to find Well, he ain't taking no real risk, right? What risk is he actually really taking? He comes out and says what everybody in Hollywood thinks. He's going to keep his job. He's not going to lose his livelihood. Oh, he has some people online saying that he's not a great actor. He ain't losing nothing. But you know who do have things to lose if they come out and they support Trump? Basically anybody in Hollywood and in the mainstream liberal media, right? Anybody on this panel who comes out and overtly uh, endorses Trump is going to lose their job, right? This is why Alyssa Farrah Griffin is so anti-Trump, right? Is because she knows that if she comes out here and says, hey, I'm going to vote for Trump, she's done, right? These people will refuse to work with her, okay? This is why she takes the stances that she takes. This is why nobody should actually listen to her opinion. She's not a real conservative. So when you talk about people who have something to lose, when it comes to endorsements, it's only the people that want to endorse Trump. Those are the only people that have something to lose, right? You don't have anything to lose if you support Biden. You're not going to get canceled for supporting Biden, but you will get canceled if you support Trump, for sure. Who people vote for, they're waiting on how they're going to hate them. So what they want oh. is they're not waiting to support. They're waiting to be divided, to be offended, yeah. and then they're going to react. So but what's the good in that? I do still well, think, because we talked a lot about, like, Taylor Swift and Beyonce, could they have an impact in this election? And mm -hmm. I think they do a little more uniquely than The Rock in that their followers are younger, so they may be first-time voters, yeah. so encouraging them, A, to register to vote, but also, you're not an ingrained voter. You're not committed to a party the first time you vote, necessarily. So that's where I think it has more of an impact. Although you're not he's such a megastar. He's such a megastar. Everyone loves The Rock, that's okay? Uh, what, but that's the point. He wants everybody to look. Can you smell The Rock cooking? Can you smell what The Rock, rock is, is cooking? cooking? There's I a reason not everyone it. Loves please, us. Please, <laughs> that's, please become that's, more active. That's exactly the point. And that's, I remember him saying that please line at the, at the yeah. conventions. That's the point. Everybody loves The Rock, and The Rock wants everybody to love him. But the guy, the guy, The Rock, he endorsed Biden the last time, and now he says he's not endorsing anybody. Yeah. But Trump has gotten worse since then. He's gotten worse. So my assumption that's... is he's going to vote for Biden. 
Well, the assumption <laughs> is that he doesn't want to embarrass himself by coming out here and supporting Biden, right, when he knows that it's not the right thing to do. I don't necessarily think that The Rock is going to, you know, for certain vote for Biden. He might, I mean, he probably will line up and vote for Biden, just like Stephen A. Smith and Charles Barkley of the world. But at the end of the day, uh, I think he feels like he can't come out here and overtly support Biden like he did in 2020 because it's wrong, right? It would essentially be wrong. You would be leading uh, your followers astray uh, by endorsing uh, the destruction and chaos of this country. So I think him not endorsing Biden, I think, is him basically saying, hey, I don't want to attach my name <laughs> to the disaster that has been the Biden administration, which I think is a terrible sign for Biden going into 2024 because, like I try to tell you guys, I think this election is going to come down to who has the larger base, right? Who is going to come out and vote for their candidate? Trump has a solid base that's not going anywhere. Biden doesn't have a base, right? And I think that that's ultimately uh, what this election is going to come down to. And, um, you know, when you see people like The Rock and all these other people that are afraid to endorse Biden or to support Biden overtly like they have before in the past, it tells you everything you need to know about Biden's job performance and his popularity. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.